Hey guys, uh, been a while since I've posted another video, um, but uh, I recently got a copy of HSM Works. Um, uh, Gavin and L at Autodesk, uh, who HSM has been sold to, contacted me and um, they liked some of the stuff I've been doing and, and wanted me to have a go at some 3D machining. So this is sort of my first first crack at something like this. So. I took some video along the way of me making some of these little uh, um, vibration isolation uh, dampers, I guess you could say, um, for a camera gimbal project that I'm working on. And uh, I used 3D machining tool paths uh, inside of this round stock, which I parted off on the lathe, um, to remove the majority of the material inside. Um, it's almost as if it it was a hollow piece of material. <laughs> Um, I just sort of did a roughing strategy, uh, adaptive cleared it and uh, used like a one millimeter step down so it's not the highest quality finish but um, it's practical uh, as you probably know 3D machining can take a very long time depending on the surface finish that you desire so uh, kind of went for a bit of both um, but yeah you'll see the final product and uh, it's so far that it's much the same as um, HSM Express really. Um, obviously you've got the 3D part of it which I'm sort of just breaking into now but as far as usability goes it's it's super easy to learn and that's what I loved about HSM Express as well. So looking forward to doing a lot more machining and stuff so I'll be thinking sort of in 3D terms from now on. And 